Alright guys, welcome to your 12th HTML5 tutorial where we are going to finish laying out our website, hopefully, if i got enough time. So, the next thing we need to cover is this main section. Now, this main section is basically our two main articles. So, if we go ahead and take a look at our main section, we can see that we have Article 1 and Article 2. And outside that, we have a side section with the news. So, we aren't going to be styling that yet, just our main two articles. So let's go ahead and hop back in Notepad in our main.css file rather, and we can go ahead and start styling links with main underscore section. Now the very first thing I want to do is I want to float this to the left. Now this is very important because right now if we look at our website, pretty much everything is underneath each other. Now what I want to do is I want to take this main section and take it to the left and to the right of that I want to have this little new section. Now in order to do that I need to change the layout of this by changing the flow. Now whenever I do this these articles are going to be on the left hand side and this new section is going to be on the right hand side. Now another thing that we need to remember is our entire website is one thousand pixels wide so we need to organize our main section and our side section and we need to make sure that we don't go over a thousand pixels because if we do then it's gonna say okay you don't have enough room and it's gonna be placed under it so that's another key thing that we want to take note of so you need to make sure you have a thousand in mind so the very first thing in order to shift this to the left is put float left and I talk about float in my CSS tutorial so if you don't know what I'm doing Go watch them, please. So the another thing I want to do is I want to set the width of this section. Now I'm going to be setting the width to, let me think, if I hit 660 pixels, that's going to set the initial width. However, I'm also going to be adding a margin. Now I'm going to be adding a margin of 30 pixels. Now whenever I apply margin like this, this is going to give it a margin all around the element, top, bottom, left, and right. So we need to account for that whenever we're adding up the total. So the width of this is 660, but we have a margin of 30 pixels on each side. So 660 plus 30 for the left is 690, plus 30 for the right is 720. So we have a total pixel count of 720 for this entire section. I'll add a little comment. And a comment in CSS is just right like this. So we will, it's nice to add comments whenever you're working with um, you know, specific numbers, especially when you can't go over a certain value. So I'll say that this is 720 pixels, and I'll also say we have 280 left. So now whenever we're making our new section, we need to make sure that it doesn't go over 280 pixels. Simple enough. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now so we don't forget it. And if we go ahead and take a look at our website real quick, we can see that our new section is now to the left, floated left, and all the other stuff is now to the right of it. Whenever you float something left, it pretty much says, well, this is pretty much a really clear example instead of me trying to explain. Just look what's going on right here. So now, if we take that side news, is that called side news? Yep, side news. Okay, so now if we take that side news section, we can go ahead and start laying out this exactly how we want it. So the very first thing I'm going to do is float this left. So float left. However, it can't have the same width. The width of this is, let me think for a second. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so the width W I D T H that spells width. That's how you do it. So the width of this is going to be 220. Now remember, we have 280 left, so we can do a couple things if I write that correctly. So aside from that, I want to change the margin of this. Now the margin of the side news is going to be first. I want to add some space on the top because if I shift this down a little bit from the top it's gonna to look a whole lot nicer so I'm gonna go ahead and add a margin of 20 pixels on the top and 0 on the bottom so that takes care of my top and bottom now since we have a width of 20 and we need to take this 
take up a total of 280, that means we can have a padding of 30 on each side because 220 plus 30 plus 30, that's going to give us our 280. So if we go ahead and change our padding setting and we just add this as 30 pixels, then that's going to give us our 280 total. So hopefully 720 plus 280 is going to give us our 1000 to fit perfectly in our big wrapper. And another thing is make sure that you don't have a border on either your main section or your side news because even if you have a border of one pixel then that's pretty much going to throw everything off and it's going to ruin that. So that is why it's very important to have a calculator nearby whenever you're doing all this. So the very last thing I want to do is actually I'm going to add a background for this just so you guys can clearly see the difference between the new section and the main section. And I actually remember one of these. It's a 66CCCC and that's going to give you a nice light blue color. I don't even, that's kind of embarrassing that I know that, but thanks to many years of Photoshop, I do know that. So basically you can see that, okay, our main section is laid out on the left and our side news is floated to pretty much the right. However, we have this footer right here and that's not good. We want this footer to be centered kind of below both this article and this little news section. We don't want it just randomly on the right hand side right there. So let's take care of that problem right now. So I believe I just named, did I name it footer or the footer? The footer. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that because I'm extremely lazy and we reference that by hitting pound and the footer and now what we need to do in order to kind of take away the floating properties we need to add a property called clear and the value we need to set both now what this pretty much means is okay for this footer I don't want any floating crap on the left or right I kind of want it to be its own thing so that's just kind of gonna reset it to the default layout make it a plain block level element so if we go ahead and save this right now our layout should be good and it is now under both of these pretty much nothing is floating to the left hand side of this or the right hand side of this now what we want to do is we want to center this beast because it looks kind of weird on the left hand side there so in order to do that just put text align center and that's going to go ahead and center that now before I test this out I want to do a couple more things I want to add a padding and I'll just add a padding of like 20 pixels and I also want to change of the border but I don't want to border all the way around this I only want a border on the top of this because I think that'll look it'll pretty much give it a horizontal rule kind of look make sure that there's a line only on top of it separating it from the rest of the website so I'm gonna add a border top and I'm gonna give this oh uh, let's see let's give it two pixels solid green so now if I go ahead and save this and refresh it you can see that you see why I didn't want a border around all of it because there's already a border to the bottom of it in the left and right so if I put a border just across the top of it it's gonna go ahead and separate this footer from the rest of the website and it's gonna give it kind of a cool looking look cool looking look Hmm, funny I should say that so this website is looking pretty good right here and we have our overall layout complete this is floated to the left, this is floated to the left, everything is nice and organized, this footer is positioned exactly how we want it. However, these articles right here, they don't really look that great. We can spice them up a little bit and I'm going to be showing you guys a couple cool tricks with those. So I'm running out of time for now and I actually need a drink because my voice is getting kind of coarse. But anyways, I will talk to you guys about that in the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then.